Hello, we're back with another installment of Get Messy May. Um, and we are on to, let me double check, moments. Moments. This is going to be a fun one. So, first thought for me when I thought moments was like memories, I guess. And funnily enough, I just got my paper shoot camera, which is basically a paper camera. <laughs> I use my phone all day long. I take a million photos. Anyone knows me, you can go through my phone and at all times I have thousands of photos of my daughter, of my dog, my husband, just little things I see. Because everything could be used as inspiration for an art piece. So I take a lot of photos. I also went and ordered myself as like an early Mother's Day gift, a paper shoot camera. I'm gonna show it to you. I actually just did an unboxing video. And what I like about it is it takes away all the noise. So when you have a digital camera or something with a screen like a phone and you can see the image straight away you immediately critique it whether it's oh no you blinked oh wait it's slightly blurry or I don't like that angle and so you'll take like five other photos of the exact same thing when I was young uh, growing up we would use either disposable cameras or cameras where you had to send the pictures away yes believe it or not I'm that old and um, wait for your photos to get back sometimes in a week uh, then the hour developing came through and you could get it within 24 hours or in an hour and basically you were only you were limited to like 24 to 36 images so you had to be really smart with the way you took pictures um and I didn't realize that's a skill set that is kind of being lost now because you have this ability to take a thousand photos, you can get the right shot. But there's something really lovely about the, I guess, like the mistakes. Um, so anyway, the paper shoot camera is kind of like that vibe. It's like the old film cameras. It is actually digital, but there's no screen. It's the point and click. Um, and so I bought it just to kind of like force my brain back into that way and I'm already taking photos differently It's been two days. I've been playing with it and um, you know Like I saw a trash can and I was like, oh, that's so arty But I would never take a picture of that with my phone because like I don't know I can't even explain it. There's just something really cool. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of the pictures I'm not gonna be putting a trash can picture on my moments page But I took some family photos with it and I just I really like the nostalgia feel So I'm gonna go with like vintage rustic vibes I think for this again collage mixed media playing with paint and getting messy But I did get my nails done. So then we're not gonna go crazy messy. We're not gonna be using hands today And if we do I'll be putting on gloves <laughs> Let's get into it Okay, so Moments is on this side. That's raised for tomorrow. Um, I'm feeling like I want to do kind of a, I don't know, like an old school vibes. Um, maybe some like vintage looking items. And then there's going to be Moments on it with pictures that I print off from my photo shoot camera. Sorry, paper shoot camera. Just because it's something I'm pretty... Um, like I'm playing with right now. I'm actually not even going to erase the word moments here. Um, I'm going to think about my colour scheme, I think, in advance. I'm not going to... Sorry, I'm thinking as I talk. I'm not going to print out the pictures first because I haven't even decided which ones I'm going to use. I think what I might do is print the sepia ones because I really like, you know, that kind of brown, rusticy feel. And I think I'm going to stick with that colour palette on here. So, I love to travel. That's something that's special to me, traveling moments. Um, so I've got this washi tape that is like a vintage world map. You know what's so funny to me is when you think of the word vintage, like when does it become vintage? Like technically I was born in the 80s, right? So everything I have now from the 80s is considered vintage, but I think of vintage as like this, like rustic, very old school like maps from the 1800s <laughs> that's what I think of as vintage but yes there's lots of different kinds of vintage and sadly now I'm part of that generation of vintage as well so now because I live in California let's put that part on there and then rip it and then the English porter Ireland England is up here so let's put that up there and I'm literally just using this because of the color. I like the color. And I do like to rip washi tape, to be honest. I, I like the way it looks. I'm undecided yet while I do that. I might stick that down just for now, just so I can hold my book in place. Because it is getting a little 
wiggly it does start to happen once the pages get thicker i am going to do more today with um sorry what was the word i'm looking for i'm going to do more today on real time because i got a note from someone saying I wish I could see more in real time, not me speeding through. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna use this gigantic paper clip just to hold this in place a little bit. There we go, that's better. All right, so I've drawn some pencil lines is where I'm gonna put things. I think this gives me, this is like giving Louis Vuitton vibes, this washi tape. I really love washi tape, by the way. If you don't know what washi tape is, it's basically like a less sticky version of painter's tape but I really like it because it comes in a, a variety like a multitude of different um colors and options but it also I can rep I can move things around with it which I quite like because if I don't like it I can lift it off and it doesn't rip the page I'm just sort of putting I, I like to like play with the color placement of things now let's have a look here that's like a coffee latte i don't think i need a latte on this one but it is giving that kind of color aesthetic now the trouble with me and junk journaling pieces or um honestly any kind of collage or layering of images or anything i get really stuck on the look of something because I don't know how to explain it better than I really like um, a lot of the peak things that I buy. Like, for example, I love this little coffee, right? It may not end up being something that's relevant to the page, but it's a really cute little piece. Now, if I want to paint over the top or put a picture over the top, I'm going to find it, have a hard time covering that. Does that make sense? So I do try to map out what I'm doing. Um, I'm not too fussed if this gets painted over, so I'm, I could put that there just for a little bit of something. But I don't know how others do it. I would actually be curious if you wanted to comment if you are an artist who does a lot of mixed media pieces or junk journaling, collage. How do you decide what you can cover over or not? Because a lot of the times I really like a lot of moments, but you end up covering a lot of it as you keep building. Um, and that is something I struggle with, to be honest, because I really like a lot of things. <laughs> So, moments, moments. I think, let's get some colour on the page. I'm tempted to get tea. I don't know why I want to use a tea bag. I'm feeling tea bag. I'm going to go get one. Give me one sec. Okay, I have returned with the tea bag that has been put and is wet and has been put into a paper towel because I want to put tea on the page. Why? Because I'm crazy. But I feel like... That will give that vintage style that I'm feeling. Like old worn paper. Now obviously I could be logical and use watercolour in the same colour palette. But no. Best moments of my day are drinking my tea. So why not include a tea bag of colour? If you let it sit long enough it will stain the page a little bit. I could be really crazy and even pour out some of the tea itself. Get some green on there for no reason other than we've got to get messy. And I think it might yield some interesting results. My God, I literally, I can't not make a mess, can I? There's just no, <laughs> there's no way around it. At all times, I have to be creating a mess. I am curious how this is going to work. It may not do enough because I've actually, it's actually a used tea bag, so it may not have enough pigment left in it to create a look. Oh gosh, we've gone on to the other side, haven't we? That's okay. Um, but while this is drying over here, I will show you because I went and got it, the paper shoot camera I was talking about. I got it in this design because it felt sort of uh, British flaggy. Um, and as you can see, it has no screen. It does have the option of doing color, black and white, sepia or sepia, and a cool tone. I love the sepia, um, but it's a really simple design, but it works really well. And you can get lots of different covers. I'll uh, share information on that as well. But I, I've only had it for a couple of days, so I don't have a huge amount of information to tell you about it. But look, just to show you, um, so you can hear it in real time. We'll take a photo and I'll show you it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Plug in the camera 
and then we can see the pictures. I had it set to sepia so it would work well. Is it sepia or sepia, by the way? I don't know. All right, let's see what we got here. I took a photo of myself looking in the mirror. <laughs> and it's blurry and that's okay. It's giving nostalgia. Took a picture of me and my daughter. That came out quite cute. Could cut that one out. Let me see all the sepia things. What's this? This is the mess of my room. <laughs> it's my little floof ball in amongst the mess. Let's see what else have we got. Oh, this was what I was taking with you guys in the view. There we go. That's what it looks like. I like that with that warm tone behind it. Very cool. Okay, so this is pretty much dry. I don't think it's going to yield much of a result, to be honest. Just going to flake off the bits of physically dried tea because I like texture, but that's too much texture. Okay, we brush the tea off and some interesting textures going on there still a little damp so i'm going to leave it just a little longer but i'm going to start printing off some photos that i want to include here and um kind of plan out where i want to place other things okay so i've printed off some pictures um that i took on my paper shoot camera and i did it on just regular paper so they're grainy and not super clear but that's kind of what I love about them and seeing as today is moments these are just special little moments my husband brushing my daughter's hair the dog there watching tv um me and my daughter with the coffee and then that's the edited sepia version um I also this was us at the fair the other day this one um was me taking one of the first pictures with this camera it's super blurry and it was in the mirror um but again it's this weird grainy vintagey film-like quality that I kind of love and for some reason even if you took this on a digital camera like a uh, oh sorry like on an iPhone there's just something about this that just feels different I like it a lot so we're going to take some moments and decide where to put them how we're going to place them may not even be able to tell at the end what they are but considering most of the most important moments for me are with my family, these seemed like the most appropriate kind of pictures to put on. I don't want that H&R block on there, so we will definitely cut that off because I don't think that's relevant. But honestly, these colors are very much how my film camera photos used to come out. Somewhat grainy, um, not crisp, saturated color, but there's something about it that's really special. So I do have to speed you up because this whole process of figuring out what pictures I want to use and where to place them takes way too long. <laughs> it's not something you want to watch in real time. A lot of times I really just play with placement and a big part of mixed media pieces I feel like is that, is working out what bits will be covered, which parts do you want to make sure you can see. I just add these on with washi tape just so I know where they are. Um, they're not stuck down yet. And then I just found a bunch of stickers and stamps that I really like uh, and cut out elements I felt would fit. So there's like kisses, there's a little rose on there. I started to write a couple of quotes that I really like and then remembered how much I dislike my handwriting. <laughs> So I made a, a conscious decision that this would be covered up in some capacity, just wasn't sure yet. I have these fabulous transfers. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, they do these sheets, but they, they work really well for just adding a little bit of something over the top of already done pictures. And then some of the background paintings I found yesterday, I ripped up and added to this, again, wanting to cover certain areas. I'm just adding stickers and tags and all sorts of goodies to this, just building, 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 as I love to do with the junk journal style pieces. It's just like so much fun. All right, we're in the final stages. We have layered and layered and layered. I love how this has come together. It's giving nostalgia vintage. And I just rewrote the quote that I put up here, which was, we do not remember days, we remember moments. I typed it out on my typewriter and I did it on like a baking paper. I don't know how I got that to work, but I love it because in theory, let's just cut it down to size, thinking I might place it over the top here and you should be able to still read it. I love that. In fact, I might even keep some of it. Let's just make it a little neater and we might be able to fit this on as like a full strip that goes 
all the way across because I don't mind if it kind of fades out some of that as well. I quite like that look. And the other quote, by the way, that was underneath it that I hand wrote and couldn't decide how I was going to do it, but it's actually from the movie Just Married, which is not like a super special movie per se, but it has this great moment in it where it says, uh, where the father says to the, um, to Ashton Kutcher's character, that you never see the hard days in a photo album, but those are the ones that get you from one happy snapshot to the next. And I really loved that quote. And I felt like that would fit nicely on here. So I'm just figuring out as I talk to you, how I want to place this. So let's cut you here, buddy. And well, that was terribly cut. Let's try that again. And I'm just going to use a glue stick, actually. You don't need to be there. Let's just do a little bit of glue on here. I'll make a decision after I do it whether or not I do another layer. I want to be able to read this quote. I'm just deciding if we want to go up and over like that. Or if I want it further down. That gap is going to bother me. I know it is. That. Oh, now I... No, that's going to bug me. I don't like that. You know, let's do this. Let's just go back to what my original plan was, which was to do this. Sometimes I'm very undecisive about what I want to do until I'm actually kind of physically pressing things on. And then I'm like, okay, I like that. And I don't like how high up this goes. I'm actually going to rip it. I prefer the ripped look anyway. Beautiful. Love that more. There we go. That's what we're going for. It's got like this kind of filtered like look. Also adding a fun texture there. And I think we need one more item up here and then I think I'm done. Um, I really like how this came out actually. What if we put a little bit more of this paper on top? Maybe. It's like waste not want not. Every single piece of scrap will be loved and used again. I think, I think I'm done. I think I have to stop and walk away. And there's little moments on this, <laughs> the irony, moments, um, for today's word, that are special to me. Like I have an ice coupon there. That's because my husband and I run an ice company. You've got love. I've got my, like, art o'clock clock. LAX is where I moved to from London. I've got quotes underneath. I've got my favorite latte made an appearance again. Travel, airmail, kisses, love. All the things that matter to me florals um yeah i just uh, oh snail mail anyone knows me knows i love snail mail i love getting letters in the mail so i am pretty happy with this page